I want to go and drive to a church, you know, mate. What for? What for? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> there's a church up here, and there's a chap, and he wears a very, very long gown, the man inside the woman. Oh, you, you mean the minister? Minister? Hmm. Minister? He's, he's not the prime minister, is he? Pr prime minister? No, no, he's the local minister. Oh, OK. OK. Strange how they're both called ministers. Oh, you've got a good point there. Ministry, monastery. Have you noticed there's a ministry of defence? Ministry, monastery of defence. But there's not a ministry of health. Hmm. It's a department of health. Hmm. hmm. Anyway, I want to ask him a question. What question is that? How come God says in his books, called Bibles. Holy. Holy, yeah, full of holes. How come God says that when we're dead, we've got the choice of going to a concentration camp? A concentration camp! Wait, wait, wait. You only get to go to the concentration camp if you've been good. If you've been bad, you get to go to the other concentration camp. So, one's nice and quiet, where you have to adorn a bloke with white hair and a, and a, a white dress. Yeah, and you've got to be hair. good and not do anything <coughs> fun. OK. And the other one is full of fire and, and lots of shenanigans. That sounds like a more interesting... Um, well, it's certainly going to be warmer. Is that why all the politicians don't give a shit about us? Because they probably want to go to the fiery place, which is a little bit more exciting because of, of devil worship, sadomasochism, uh, buggering children. You know, the, the usual things that the, <laughs> uh, the authorities uh, do in the Houses of Parliament. You've seen the number on that van, it says 666. Yeah. And we're talking about satanic devil worship. <laughs> I'm not interested in any religion. Sat Satanism, God, uh, he is us, Jesus. I'm interested in everything but anybody telling me what to do. Because if you ask a few questions, then all of a sudden you start getting a few different answers rather than being telled and spelled upon. So, that's... That's a bit odd, isn't it? That you would go to a concentration camp after death. It's your choice. What, to go to a concentration camp? Yeah. I don't want to go to any concentration camp. I either want to be, well, you realise when you're dead, you can choose. You don't die. Yeah. Nothing can, only this physical uh, field unit called the uh, human body yeah. that you're rolling around in deteriorates because of the illusion of time. Um, but when you're non-physical, you become a survival personality with all your memory banks intact. Where do you think the all-seeing eye is? Where do you think the idea of everything came from? No space or time. So your memory banks take up no space or time. So, by the way, everybody, you're immortal. You're immortal, that's amazing. You're not going to any concentration camp, I assure you. Unless they want to. So if somebody, basically, what's, what's the question then? If somebody says, right, you're going to H or H, huh. Right? It's always a prisoner's cell block H. It's a H block, isn't it? It's yes. that church. Although I doubt he's going to uh, talk to us. We're going to try and take the camera and ask him a few questions. <clears throat> so if anybody tells you that you're going to concentration camp, did you see that bloke a bit ago? You know on Station Street when we stopped? Mm. Did you see what was we he was wearing around his neck? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was an effigy of a man nailed, bloody nailed, to a, a, a wooden cross. How oh, does... Oh, that's, that is sick. That is really messed up sick shit. Well, if any of it was real in the first place, and I don't know, a lot believe that it is, if that man that was nailed to that cross ever came back to this planet, do you think he's going to want to see a cross with him nailed to it again? No way. No way. Oh, it's I mean, so funny. So, what... Are, there, are these religious people telling us that this this is about suffering, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, somebody gets nailed to a cross, right? His dad said it. He said, I don't want to die, Dad, didn't he? Yep. And his dad said, I'll make it that you die for the sake of humanity. So making God a murderer, and Jesus went, OK. So he's a right? suicide. A suicide case, yeah. Mm -hmm. That well, is suffering, isn't well, it? And suffer, let, suffer, suffer, suffer. Don't it, eat apples. Let's don't eat the forbidden <laughs> fucking apple of knowledge. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm swearing. Let's take it a bit it. further as well. When you do go to these places where they apparently worship this, some who, who apparently died worship 2,000 means years worthless. ago. Worthless. Yeah. Um, you get to do communion, which means you get to eat his flesh and drink his blood. So, you're cannibals. By the way, do you know in Easter, apparently he died and three days later he came back for, from life, didn't we? We did a video on this. What do you call that? Zombieism. Mm. So religion teaches about suffering, death, suicide, cannibalism. murder, cannibalism. Drinking blood. Drinking blood. Eating. And then what, what was the original bit we were going to ask him about? And goes on about concentration camps. Huh? And you know Adolf, right? Adolf in the um, in the set. Can you believe that there's been two world wars on this planet? 
There's some bloke called Ado Adolf. He used to have concentration camps. Allegedly. But allegedly. Because we're starting to find out that all the history we thought is not quite as we thought it. So it's really nice that religion tells you that you're going to go to a concentration camp. Mm. So I, when we get there in a bit, we'll try and video it, but I doubt he'll let us in with the camera or even talk to us. But we want to ask him why um, the Holocaust is still being promoted by the Holy Book. <laughs> 